Today, I want to talk to you about the power of relationships and th those relationships that you're involved in, the personal relationships, the professional relationships, or of people that you socialize with. I want to talk to you about how to begin to look at and evaluate your relationship and ask yourself the question, is this a relationship that I need to continue or to deepen? When you begin to look at relationships, studies indicate that people rub off on you. Did you know that you earn within two to three thousand dollars of your closest friends? See, if people who earn a hundred thousand dollars a year don't hang out with people who earn twenty thousand dollars a year. You hear you've heard the saying, birds of a feather flock together. And this time where, where people have to learn more, where they have to challenge themselves, that average is over, where people are being replaced by technology. This is a time that you want to have a game plan for yourself, being in growth mode, growing, developing yourself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and aligning yourself with people who are doing the same thing. See, if you're around people who don't have goals and don't have dreams and, and they don't have a sense of purpose and direction, that will begin to rub off on you. And so as you look at your relationships and you assess them, ask yourself this question. What is this relationship doing to me? Am I growing mentally and emotionally and spiritually? Dr. Dennis Kimbrough out of Atlanta said something that's very important. He said, if you are <laughs> in a relationship with people that you have more knowledge, more skills and abilities than they have, you need to get some new relationships. <laughs> Absolutely, because those people are going to bring you down. No, look at yourself and ask, is this relationship stretching me? And I'm, am I growing mentally and emotionally and spiritually and financially? Is this a relationship that's holding me accountable? Is this a relationship that, that brings out the best in me? See, it, it, as you look at yourself and look at your goals, relationships are very important. Why? Because in order to make it in this era that the late Peter Drucker calls the era of the three C's, accelerated change, overwhelming complexity, and tremendous competition, you need to be in alignment with people that you can grow from, people that will challenge you, people that will push you outside of your comfort zone so you can discover the truth of who you are. In order to make it today, you can't do it by yourself. You want to create collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships. That's what's required today. You don't want to be a standalone because the demands of this world now are greater than they've ever been before. I was at the bank this morning and as I was waiting for a transaction, I, I noticed so many empty desk and I asked the one person that was handling my transaction and other people that were in line I said well where are the other people here oh they've been released is that right so I said well do you have a game plan for you she said yes I said good it's better to have a, a game plan for you and not need it than to need it and not have it so technology has replaced most of the people in the bank where I go. And, and that's happening all over the place. According to the Department of Labor, over 20,000 people are losing their jobs every day. Many corporations have independent contractors. Why? So they don't have to pay them health benefits. So when you look at yourself, look at your goals and begin to look at your life and your future, are you expanding your growth, development, your skills, your knowledge, your abilities? See, Robert Shula said something years ago. He said, you either expand or you are expendable. I remember when one of my sisters, uh, she was at work, a job she'd been in for around 22 years. And, and she used to bring work home. And finally, one day when Sharon came to work, they told her, listen, your job is is being taken over. We have eliminated this 
department, but you must train your replacement. And my sister being defiant, she said, I'm not going to train her for my job. No, she have to learn herself just like I did. And then they told my sister Sharon, said, listen, train her or you won't get your severance pay. Hmm. You know, that's just like deciding to divorce somebody and 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 they uh, come to you and say, look here, I, I, I want to divorce from you, but I want you to train my new husband what not to do. <laughs> or, or, <laughs> or my new wife. <laughs> you say, what? You about to make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. <laughs> And so there's some relationships that it works for that other person, but you have to ask the question, is this relationship working for me? See, there are some relationships, there are people who are always there when they need you, but when you need them, you can't find them. You know, Dr. Howard Thurman, who was a mentor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Albert Schweitzer and Mahatma Gandhi, he said there are three primary questions that one must ask oneself in life. Number one, where am I going? And number two, who's going with me? And if you ever ask those questions in the wrong order, you'll be in serious trouble. And so decide, make it clear to yourself, where am I going? Uh, and what is it I need to do? What kind of person do I need to become in order to accomplish this dream, this vision that I have of myself outside of my comfort zone? Because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. You've got to die to who you've been to give birth to who you ought to become. And as my son John Leslie would say, ask yourself, who should I count on? And who should I count out? I want you to make a note of this. Practice the principle of OQP, only quality people. From this day forward, I, I want you to think about the relationships in your life. Your positive relationships, these are relationships that bring the best out of you, that challenge you, that inspire you. And then there are toxic relationships. These are relationships that drain you. These are the emotional vampires. These are relationships that are very critical of you. These are the relationships that could bring the worst out of you. And ask yourself the question, do I need to do this? And I want you to think about this quote. Let go or be dragged. If you have some relationships in your life that no longer serve you, relationships in your life that these people are compromising your ability to be ambitious and have dreams and goals, these people are major distraction in your life. These people are relationships that don't have any purpose and meaning other than socializing and having a good time. No. Form relationships with people that you can grow from, people that will challenge you, people that make you feel good about yourself, and you do the same for them. Yeah, you have something special, and to bring out your specialness, surround yourself with people, OQP, only quality people. When you do that, the possibility of your reaching your goal becomes greater and greater and greater. When you surround yourself with only quality people, they will bring out the greatness in you and introduce you to a part of yourself that you'll never discover by yourself. <laughs>